Muito bem, meus amigos de Moto Relax, está começando a pré-venda da Tiger 1200 no Brasil, isso de acordo com o um comunicado oficial da Triumph. No site oficial da marca ainda não constam os preços, mas em uma reportagem do jornalista Roberto Dutra, da Web Motors, ele está indicando o seguinte. São três versões, a versão Rally Pro deve custar R$ 104.990, a GT Explorer R$ 111.990 e a Rally Explorer R$ 118.990. Em em termos de motor, a Tiger 1200 mantém os três cilindros em linha, com 150 cavalos a 9.000 RPM e um torque de 13,2 kgfm a 7.000 RPM. A transmissão continua sendo por cardan e as mudanças que foram feitas no quadro e subquadro mudança de alguns materiais ajudou a moto a perder aí 25 quilos em relação ao modelo anterior. Então fiquem agora com um vídeo de lançamento onde são passados todos os detalhes dessas belíssimas e poderosas representantes do mundo Big Trail e que logo logo estarão rodando pelas nossas estradas brasileiras. Welcome to a really significant motorcycle launch from Triumph with an all new generation of the Tiger 1200. And as you can see, there are cast wheel and wire wheel Tiger models to choose from, and for the very first time, two 30 litre tank options. Today, we're going to learn all about how the new T plane triple engine is going to shake up the adventure world with a much more exciting character and power. We're also going to hear why Triumph are saying that this is the most agile and maneuverable large adventure motorcycle you can buy, including all about its absolute transformation in weight. And finally, best of all, we'll hear from some very well-known and respected adventure riders who've actually ridden the prototypes. So let's get straight to it. Steve, tell us what the plan was for the new family. Yeah, hi Matt. So what you're seeing here is the result of one of the most ambitious projects in trance history, where absolutely nothing was off the table in regard to the scope and the scale of change. We started by getting under the skin of what adventure bike riding is all about, and also what adventure bike riders really value. Now, some of these things already existed in our previous generation, such as the shaft drive, which riders have told us is a really important practical feature. In addition, the great long distance comfort and the triple engine really suits touring perfectly. Now, this gave us the things that we needed to maintain. Now, the fun really started, however, when we came to what we wanted to change. Okay, so exactly what have you done then? The first thing was to make this new generation significantly lighter, and we've carved off more than 25 kilos off the weight of the bike. That's about the same weight as a fully loaded set of panniers. The weight reduction really transforms how the new bike feels to ride and move around, which for me makes this new Tiger the most agile, large capacity adventure motorcycle that you can buy. And am I right in thinking this is a completely new engine, Steve? Yep, and this brings a real step up in power. And better still, it's how responsive and exciting this engine feels. Now with the new engine, we wanted riders to have all of the advantages that made our Tiger 900 so successful, where the T-plane crank gives the low down tractability of a twin at the bottom end, making it great off-road, but also we've got the performance benefits of a triple at the top end, which makes this so good on the road. Can you walk us through the lineup then? Of course. Now, the first thing to share is that we have all new names to reflect the new capability and that each model is now more focused to suit the adventures that different riders want. First, with the GT and the high spec GT Pro, these have got cast wheels. Now we've got 19 inch on the front and we've got an 18 inch on the rear. Now, both of those bikes have got all new Showa semi-active suspension, which have been set up for the road. Now this makes the Tiger up to 17 kilos lighter than the closest shaft drive competition based on a comparable specification of motorcycle. Now next, with the all new Rally Pro, we have for the first time a dedicated 21 inch front and an 18 inch rear tubeless wire spoke wheels. Now again, this bike has got Showa semi-active suspension, but on this bike it's got even longer travel. These give a real advantage over the competition off-road, as well as still being excellent on the road. Now finally, for the first time, we've got two new 30 litre tank models with the GT Explorer and the Rally Explorer. And both of those bikes feature the new Triumph Blind Spot radar system. Now simply put, these are bikes built to travel the world. And with the GT Explorer, this introduces the only cast wheel 30 litre tank adventure bike in the class. Thanks Steve. Okay, now we're going to hear from someone who probably knows more about riding off-road than anyone on the planet. None other than the greatest motocross rider of all time with 15 world championships and one of Triumph's new off-road ambassadors, Ricky Carmichael. Well, thank you, Matt. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, great to have you. Now, Ricky, I hear that you've actually ridden this prototype as part of its development. What did you think? If you didn't know that it was a 1200 because of the horsepower, you would have thought it was a 900. That's how light this motorcycle feels. 
felt so nimble. Like when I would stop and turn around on a gravel road, just really slide the bike, turn it and go. I'm able to do that now on a 1200. They have done such a great job with weight and balance and positioning and where you're sitting at. You're able to hold an inside or a tighter line a lot easier um, on the 1200 as opposed to the old model, just because of the weight saver and how good that the suspension is handling. It's the class of the field. I really believe that. Comparing it to a twin, this bike is, it's, it's in a league of its own. Yeah, such an exciting time, isn't it, for Triumph fans? Thank you so much, Ricky, for joining us today. Thank you, Matt. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. OK, let's hear more about that new engine now with Stu. Hello, Stu. Hi, Matt. The new 1160cc triple delivers 150 PS, which is 9 PS up on the previous generation, making it the most powerful shaft drive motorcycle in the class. We also have 130 newton meters of torque, which is significantly higher than the previous generation. But what's really important is how that power and torque is delivered. Now, this comes from the all new engine, the new tune and the T-plane triple crank, where it's uneven firing interval, gives us excellent character, feel and tractability at the bottom end and combines this with the really strong triple power and torque delivery all the way through the rev range, giving you the best of all worlds. The way the engine feels is a big step forward. It's much more responsive and excited and just glorious to listen to. Overall, every single component has been designed to be significantly lighter and more compact, which has allowed us to give the Tiger a much tighter overall package, transforming the riding dynamics. All right, let's get back to Steve now to get the facts on the chassis. I guess, Steve, the weight is going to make a big difference. Yes, Matt, but weight is only really part of the equation. The chassis and where the weight sits is absolutely fundamental. With the new generation, we've got an all-new lightweight frame, which for the first time comes with bolt-on aluminium rear subframe and pillion footrest hangers, and we've got an all-new aluminium fuel tank. Now, we've also got a new swing arm, and this has got a unique tri-link design, which is much lighter than a single-sided swing arm setup. We have on each family dedicated new wheel sizes and Metzler tires, where both families have been set up for great dynamic road riding. And with the Rally Pro and the Rally Explorer, that 21 inch front wheel really makes a difference in the off-road capability that takes it to a whole new level. And combined with the significantly enhanced ergonomics, the major weight saving and the optimized center of gravity, this gives you a Tiger 1200 that feels so much lighter and more maneuverable. Okay, so tell us about the equipment spec. So the new Showa suspension fitted to every Tiger model. Now that automatically adjusts the preload to suit the weight that you're carrying. And the semi-active system continuously monitors and adapts the damping as you ride the bike. Now the rider is also able to set the bike up exactly the way they want it and how they want it to feel using the simple instrument menu to adjust the settings. With the brakes, we've got Brembo's front and back. And on the front, we've got the category leading Stylema calipers. And finally, we've got optimized cornering ABS and traction control, which guarantee that you've got the maximum control and get the best ride, whatever the conditions. Top spec kit, Steve. Thank you. All right, let's welcome Stuart back now to tell us about the technology, Stu. Okay, well, Matt, we've got new technology on the GT Explorer and Rally Explorer with our all new blind spot radar system, which we developed in partnership with Continental. Now this rear facing radar lets the rider know when another vehicle is in their blind spot and also gives a more prominent warning if the rider indicates to change lane and there's a vehicle approaching. We also have all new 7-inch TFT instruments and the My Triumph connectivity system already installed. The new Tigers have keyless ignition, steering lock and fuel filler cap, plus Triumph Shift Assist which gives you clutchless up and down gear shifts. We have full LED lighting with the new high intensity daytime running light plus integrated cornering lights. The new Tigers have up to six riding modes which adjust the throttle response, ABS, traction control and suspension settings all of which you can further personalize in the rider mode. For those who take their Tigers further off-road, we have the advanced off-road pro mode on the Rally Pro and Rally Explorer. Finally, we also have cruise control, hill hold and heated grips, and on the Explorers, heated rider and pillion seats with independent temperature control and a tire pressure monitoring system, both of which can be fitted on the other models as an accessory. Thanks a lot, Stu. Now let's meet someone who really knows what it takes to travel the world on a motorcycle and who's already had the chance to ride this new generation, Tiger. Please welcome Billy Ward, better known as Billy Bike Truck, who's led multiple motorcycle adventure tours across the world. <laughs> Billy, thanks for joining us. Great to be here, Matt. From following you for quite a few years now, actually, I'd say you've probably got a unique perspective on the new Tiger because I know you've done lots of tours on its closest shaft drive competition, but also on the previous generation too. How do you think it compares? It feels radically different. The first thing that hits you is the agility. Biggest problem with big adventure bikes is that they're big. Yeah, that's the compromise that people have to make to tour the world. Yeah. But actually you get off this bike and you really feel that it's lost weight. What about the 30 litre tank? What kind of a practical difference would that make to, to your day to day life on the road out there? When you're riding in Africa, it's like you fill up at every fuel station because the next one might not have any fuel. The 30 litre tank just cures a fair bit of that. I mean, that's a big tank. And yet you still have this kind of feeling of agility with the bike. 
I tell you what, the shaft drive is a real bonus. You know, one of the things with the chain is that they wear out. The shaft drive takes that away completely. It's one of them things on your list that you don't have to worry about. Thanks, Billy. OK, let's hear more now about the look and the rider ergonomics with Miles. So, the brief of the design was just as ambitious as the performance updates. The new improved package and functionality has brought a more upright, commanding stance and presence. With the ergonomics, we knew it was essential to build on the previous generation's comfortable and stable ride. And this includes maintaining the Tiger's adjustable seat height, which you can lower by 20 mil further with the accessory low seat. And the new bike has a much slimmer waist and a more compact design, which not only makes it easier to get your feet on the floor, but also makes it easier to move around on while riding. As you'd expect from a Triumph, the quality of fit and finish is impeccable. We've repackaged the front end with a new twin radiator design, which has been carefully optimized to direct warm air away from the rider for a more comfortable ride. We also have a visually lighter rear end and that really minimal new silencer. Finally, as we know, people absolutely want to tailor their bike to suit their adventure and really value the accessories that make their ride better. We have over 50 on offer, which include two full luggage systems with these new Trekker molded panniers and 52 litre twin helmet top box with passenger backrest, as well as these new aluminium top opening expedition panniers with matching 42 litre top box and backrest, all developed by Triumph in partnership with Jimmy. We also have a comprehensive protection range with precision engineered engine bars, which come as standard on the Rally Pro and the two Explorers, and also the tank protection bars, which are standard fit on the Rally Explorer. And finally, for extra comfort, we have a range of heated seating options, including rider, pillion, standard height, and low seat height choices. Now let's get two more adventurers out who've had the chance to ride this new generation. Introducing Sandra and Fiona, ADV Travel Bug, international adventure vloggers who've spent the last two and a half years traveling the world on a motorcycle. Ladies, great to meet you both. Thank you very much for joining us. First of all, Sandra, this is the first chance you've had to ride the new 1200 after spending, what, the last two years on the 900? How does the prototype 1200 feel? And today is the first time I've ridden it and I'm really, really blown away how easy it was to handle the bike. And you've got a lot more power, but there's a lot of features that I already loved about the Tiger 900, which the 1200 has. So we've got the same T-plane engine, feels like a twin off-road, but it gives you all the power when you're riding on the road. We've got the heated seats, which we really love. I love how everything is adjustable. The last couple of years you've been riding Pillion Fiona on the 900. What's the position like in comparison on the 1200? It's higher on the 1200 and it's incredibly comfortable. Have a great trip to Morocco, guys, and lovely to meet you today. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Cheers, pleasure. OK, now on the all-important news on price. This new Tiger lineup starts at £14,600 in the UK. And depending on where you are in the world, we'll be coming into Triumph dealers from spring. These will all come with Triumph's high 10,000 miles or 16,000 kilometre service intervals. And for the first time, a three-year unlimited mileage warranty for great peace of mind. So that's it for the launch of this new generation of Triumph's flagship adventure motorcycle. Designed to be the most agile and manoeuvrable large capacity adventure bike you can buy, significantly lighter with class leading handling and specification. An all new T-plane triple engine, more powerful, setting the new benchmark for character. A state of the art technology package, including blind spot radar, and of course, all of the Tiger's comfort and touring capability. Thank you very much for joining us today. Let's finish now by seeing these new Tigers doing just what they do best. <laughs>